Hello everyone, welcome to my video. I've got a uh, short video here I want to do. I hope it's short anyway, but anyway, uh, I want to welcome everybody to my channel. I want to give my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, all the glory. I mean, I believe he's coming soon. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just want to, um, at the end of this video, you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, you'll understand what I'm fixing to say about this uh, video here. Uh, there's a part in it I want everyone to hear. But anyway, when I was six years old, um, I didn't really realize it until about 10 years ago. Uh, I mean, I was blind. I was so blind, of the, you know, in this world and stuff. You know, I tried. I always tried to do right, you know, and and stuff. But anyway, I was blind to this world. But uh, God started waking me up. He woke me up so hard, so fast. I didn't know what was going on in this world. I mean, nearly. I just kept thinking, what is going on? Because um, one of the first things that happened to me and my wife, we was building an RV park, and I found a bunch of these rocks they had dug out of a ditch. And uh, uh, with their, their grading the roads and their blade, they was ditching the, re-ditching the ditches. And uh, they was pulling these rocks out of the banks, you know, and they were real pretty flat rocks. They were, some of them were pretty heavy, and we was building fire pits. And one evening I told my wife, this is in 2008, I think. But anyway, whenever it was, uh, my wife knows, because she was with me. I said, let's go over, I found some real pretty rocks going down toward this lake we live by pretty close to. Well, there's about 30 of those rocks, real square, kind of square and flat. And so I grabbed a hoe, a garden hoe, because there's snakes down here where I live. And um, sometimes I get on them rocks. But anyway, I'm going to try to make this fast. But uh, when we got over there, I said, you'll have to help me on a couple of them probably, because some of them was kind of heavy. But uh, when I got down there, I just, I go over to, I look down to there, see what I was going to have to, you know, how many I was going to get. So I got in the ditch there and I forgot to get the hoe out. And I just thought, oh, well, I'll just reach over and pull that rock over towards me. And if there's a snake under it, you know, it'll be between, it'll be on the other side of that rock. So it won't bother me. So I just reached my hand down there and I lifted that rock up and I flipped it on. You know, I just flipped over one time, one time. And it was like a scene out of a movie. I mean, it was so unreal. I was so shocked of what happened um and my wife was too she just i mean she just i mean i can't even describe what you know her expressions her uh what she was saying but scorpions started boiling out of the ground just like boiling water and i promise everyone i take serious what i tell because i gotta stand before my creator someday and give an account for every word i say and I take it serious. I take my family serious. Uh, uh, protecting my family. And I take serious my creator. And I take serious what I say. So I'm telling the truth on here. And uh, I mean they boiled up. They was boiling like a foot. Nearly a foot. At least around a foot. Maybe a little bit more or less. A foot tall just kept boiling out of the ground. It looked like water boiling. But they were real scorpions. And the funny thing is. Uh, scorpions don't live cannot exist where I live because it's too moist I've never seen a scorpion here and I'm nearly 60 years old I've never in my life and I was I lived on these rivers and and uh, in these woods and not I've never seen my first scorpion that was the first scorpion I seen in where I live and they were boiling out of the ground well I told my wife she said oh my god what is that I said they're scorpions, and they were just falling off each other. They was doing it so, uh, I mean, it was boiling so bad. I mean, they couldn't even, it, they, there wasn't really a hole there for them to come out of like they were coming out of. But anyway, after we kind of got over the initial shock, I said, well, let's go down to the next one. It was about 15 foot or so down in further on down that ditch. I said, let's go down there, and I'll just get, uh, we'll leave that one, and I'll come back and get it when the scorpions are gone. 
And there was about 15 or 20 rocks down through that ditch, and I ain't kidding you, every rock I turned over, scorpions just started boiling, boiling out of the ground. I mean, it was so unreal. It looked like a scene out of a horror movie. And my wife said, oh, my God, something. What is, what's wrong? Why are they doing it? Why, why are they here? What, what are they doing? I said, evils came into this world, Kim. That's my wife's name. I said, evil is here. Uh I mean, like like it's not ever been in our lifetime. Evil has come into our realm. They're here. Anyway, and there's some other things I'll show y'all. I'm going to do a video on a level of warfare that a Christian going to local churches, you know, uh, there's a level of warfare they don't even have a clue about, uh, a level higher than they can ever imagine. And I've lived in that level of warfare all my life you know <laughs> and uh that's why the scorpions uh god started waking me up i mean i started waking up a little bit before that but that's what really let me know we're near the end of time travis where uh, you get your family try to get your family in order and get yourself in order you know make sure you're make sure you're right you know and that's what i thought i mean but anyway i'm going with this but i want y'all to hear this this is jesus the movie jesus um and I want y'all to hear something. I've heard this before. And uh, something I was recording, I heard the same exact sound. And uh, and I'm going to show it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play the video I recorded with my camera and let y'all hear the same exact sound that uh, is on this movie. Now, I would have never thought that this would have been in, you know, something like this in this movie. Um, I don't know if it just come through my computer or it's in the the movie y'all are to go to youtube and play this movie and see at a minute about it's one hour and eight minutes and four, start about one hour and eight minutes and 42 seconds into this movie and just listen and watch at the the timing that you the y'all y'all will hear this sound now it's got something to do with satan the bible and uh You'll know when you hear it when I get to the end of this, and y'all, pl I play the video that I recorded for this thing. I mean, this, this, uh, this spirit, this sound you're going to hear is coming from a powerful, powerful spirit, and it probably is Satan himself, uh, because uh, the Bible says Satan goes around as as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And um, I want y'all y'all hear this, and y'all 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 don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm trying not to make this too long, but I'm gonna start this video, and when I I'm gonna have to change my settings here so you can hear this to or it'll echo. So I'm gonna change the settings, and I'm gonna come back and play this right here. So let me let me uh, change that setting right quick um, here. Um, let's see. He's out at the Mount of Olives, in a garden called Gethsemane. I followed him there with his men. I'll take you there. How many are there? Twelve. How will we know which one he is? The one I kiss is Jesus. <laughs> My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink all of it, then your will be done. I am so afraid I cannot endure this, my father. The final act. We know which one he is. The one I kiss is Jesus. <laughs> My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink all of it, then your will be done. But if there's another way, I am so afraid I cannot endure this. My father.
The final act begins, Jesus. I am so afraid I cannot endure this, my father. The final act begins, Jesus. There will be no reprieve handed down from your father. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, hopefully, I can put these videos. These I've done like four different videos and going to try to put them together. I'm not a very good video maker, but uh, I mean, with all this, the tools and editing videos and stuff like that. But uh, people, I believe we're getting close to the end of time. This video that I'm going to show you next is a star. I tried and tried to record over and over. But it just wouldn't let me see it. It would uh, it would show up black in my uh, camera. I got an Icon P900 camera, and uh, uh, I, and I just want to say this to people, uh, to the people, my friends, my family, y'all. I don't I don't claim to be anybody any better than anybody else. I'm in a human fleshly body. I have human thoughts, and because I've been accused of thinking I was better than other people and all that, when I don't, uh, I kind of feel like the Apostle Paul. Whenever uh, I believe there's levels of sin, and when he said, "Whom I am the chiefest of sinners," you know, because when he sinned, he felt it stronger, the conviction stronger. Uh, his sin weighed more on him than it did a you know a person that wasn't in the teaching or preaching the gospel of of our, our savior but anyway so when i sin folks i'm gonna tell you it's hard it, it it's hard on on me you know and it's uh i try to keep humble i try to and uh and people think that I think that sometimes that I think that I'm better because I've always tried to stand for doing what's right. I mean, I have faced the forces of hell like I don't believe anybody really has. And I started this at six years old, and I really didn't realize it till about 10 years ago, start realizing this when God started waking me up. Like the Bible says, in the last days, he's going to wake up his tribes, his lost tribes, and that's who we are. My family and a lot of families up and down Highway 71, probably the whole Bible Belt, New York. I mean, America's, I think, the tribe of Ephraim mainly, but uh, I'm mostly from the tribe of Judah and Gad and some Dan and uh, some Levi, tribe of Levi. And um, so I got a mixture of a lot of the tribes, like, every, like a lot of people here in America does. But anyway... Uh, there's a level of spiritual warfare that if you're going to a, if you're attending church and, you know, stuff like that, that's great. I'm all for that. God says, gather yourselves, you know, to, for together, uh, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. But anyway, uh, I just never really fit in with church for some reason. And I always felt like I needed to go to church. I needed to go. To, and I did go a lot when I was a kid, but uh um, and even when I got older, um, me and my wife were young youth leaders in a local church and for about two and a half years. But anyway, uh, people would think and say that um, I thought I was better than everybody because I wanted people to do right. I believe the Bible says, let your yeas be yeas and your nays be nays. I believe that if you shook a man's hand, that you should stand on that uh that commitment you, you made because you're making a covenant with another person if you shake their hand on a deal and um and i done my best you know to to make sure that 
I lived up to my end of everything I said I would do. And, uh, and, and, but folks, I'm not perfect. I mean, I'm not perfect by no means. But anyway, I just want to tell you there's a level of warfare that most don't see and very few see and very few hear the war, the spiritual warfare. And I ain't going to go into no, any of the details because it involves a lot of my family or some of my family and uh, all that, you know, it's kind of a family type of a, uh, you know, I, uh, everybody's families has problems in these days, you know, and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go into all that. But anyway, um, there's a level of spiritual warfare that most can't see, even if you attend church every Sunday and you're faithful. And uh, and I believe it's got a little bit to do with bloodlines, but uh, the bloodlines you're in, too, you know, because... Uh, most of my family goes through the tribe of Judah. Most of my lines and my genealogies go through the tribe of Judah. But anyway, what I'm going to get to is this video of this star that I was trying to record. I've seen it several mornings, and I would try to record this star right here. And you can see the faces in it. They're entities. They're fallen angels or they're angels. They're luminaries. They're, they're, uh, they're not planets. These stars that move along an ecliptic, the ecliptic is... Um, I think there's like eight, one, they call them wandering stars. Well, they're the ones that move along the ecliptic and they, they create signs in the heavens. The Bible said there'll be signs in the heavens in the last days. And, uh, but I record, when I did finally get to record this star, it was real cold that morning and boy, I was having trouble recording this star and, uh, cause it wouldn't let me see it. I mean, I could see it with my naked eye, but when I pulled the camera up to it, I could not see it. It would turn black. I mean, it was just the sky was black already so the, my whole thing was my whole screen was just black so i couldn't it wouldn't it was high it did not want me recording it the star did not want me recording it they some of these stars have conscience uh they have intellect they have iqs you know i mean they they think they they're they're they have a mind like a human in a way but they're in a spiritual dimension uh not like ours and this is one one thing it's hard for people to grasp is God says my ways are not your ways and your ways are not my ways and I always try to think spiritually uh, you know I try to go into that realm a, a lot I would try to thank God your ways are not my ways and my ways are not your ways but I want to know your ways and because uh, in this flesh this fleshly body and this flesh it controls your mind to an extent and i uh i just wanted to know god's ways from the time i was like six years old and don't yeah and i uh, believe me i went into my wilderness time everybody's gonna go into their wilderness time they're going into their testing and uh, uh but anyway this star i want y'all to hear this uh it's the same entity the unclean entity and i believe it's satan himself because he's hated me so much all of my life. When I was six years old, me and my brother was asleep in a bed in, in my granny's bedroom. We lived in an old two-story house that just had a light in the middle of the room with a pull string on it. And uh, about two or three o'clock in the morning, something woke me up and she had a great big old dresser and a gigantic mirror on that dresser. And uh, I woke up and I looked at that mirror and there was a light on that mirror. It looked like a pathway. It looked like a, a tunnel, you might say. A, it was like a three-dimensional light, a white light. It was kind of transparent white, though. It was, uh, I've never seen any other light like it. The closest thing I could, uh, the closest thing that I could relate it to is a fluorescent light, but it looked like it was at a, it, it was at an angle you might in a way and it took up at least half of that mirror and uh, it scared me because i was just a kid so i put my head on the cover and me and my brother was sleeping together in this bedroom and my granny and papa was sleeping on a screened in front porch just pretty close to where they come in the doors were pretty close to coming in where we were but anyway uh, when i woke up my brother 
uh, when I pulled my head under the covers, I pulled the covers over my head. When my brother was, I could tell his the covers were over his head. And I, he said, you see that? And I said, yeah, I did. And uh, we both started screaming to the top of our lungs. And our granny and them come in there and started run. I mean, they got up and run in there. And the first thing they did, they pulled the light on. And of course, when they turned the light out, the light was gone from the mirror. But anyway, I seen that when I was six years old. But anyway, and I'm fixing to start. I got a few videos I'm going to do. And that's when people's really going to think that I went off the deep end or whatever. You know, um, I've just always tried to think god's ways and but anyway this entity what i'm getting around to is this entity in this in this video and i never would have dreamed i would have seen it on a movie a jesus movie when he was praying in the garden of gethsemane right before he went to the cross and if you don't believe the cross is true just watch that movie and listen at the time that i'm going to put in the description box to listen to these growl this line this so-called or this fake line roar and hiss and if you listen close to my star video here of the star you'll hear people in the abyss groaning and, and in torment you can hear them screaming in this video and folks i promise you i promise you i take serious what i put on youtube what i say to people what i take serious my family but most of all i take serious god and my savior and i take it very serious and i'm gonna have to give an account someday for everything i say and do and i take that so serious that you can't even imagine that what it would be like to stand before a a holy creator god um Yah is his name. Ayah is God's, our Father's name. But, um, I mean, I've always tried to not want to stand there with um, sins that I had to account for, you know, that I had to confess to, even though, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm going to get on so that this video ain't too long because uh, I'm pretty tired. I'm I haven't slept good in the last couple of nights. My ears have has took on a whole different ring, and it just keeps me awake some nights. I can't go back to sleep when I do wake up. But but uh, anyway, so I'm going to try to end this video pretty quick. I believe we're closing in at the end of time. All the volcanoes, the earthquakes, the floods. I mean, if y'all just watch any of the news, if it's the truth, you know, and I believe it is because God said it's going to be birth pains at the end. And I believe we're in the birth pains right now. And I believe also that we possibly could be already in the part of the tribulation, not God's wrath, but the tribulation. I believe the red dragon is here in our dimension. And um, and if you you know, there's no presidents in Israel, you know, supposedly and no presidents really in America. You know, it's all a big uh, kind of staged show. But um, I don't get involved in that anymore. God, people used to say, I used to think voting for the lesser two evils was the right thing to do. But when God started waking me up, I seen that I was not supposed to vote for the lesser of two evils. That no matter what they do, if they believe in abortion, if they believe in um, a lot of things the Bible calls sin, and they, 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 they twist their words and these politicians tw twist their words and stuff around to make you think they're not for this abortion and stuff you know america was not founded on our creator god's principles george washington was a 33 degree mason uh, do your research people test and prove everything and don't take my word for it god says let every man be a liar and god be true and and that's what I'm saying. You have to test everything for yourself. God says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So you can't depend on no man, not me, not anybody, and especially not those TV preachers. Man, I used to, there's a few of them I used to watch and kind of trust or put my faith in them. But I've seen, I've seen lately that, I mean, not lately, but the past 10 years that, you know, they're, they're all false, and uh, um, I believe we're getting into a closing in on the end of time. And I'm going to ask y'all to share this video with your friends and your family and anybody you can, because 
I promise you these sounds are real. They're of an unclean entity. And I believe it's Satan himself because he hates me so bad that even um, you can ask my wife if you ever talk to her how many millions and millions and millions of dollars they spent on monitoring me since I was six years old. Or, and I can look back now and see and some of my so-called best friends I mean, they were not my best friends. I see that now, you know, but when you're blind, you're blind. So I try not to come down too hard on blind people. I just ask every person to test, especially the the spinning globe that we're supposed to be on. There's ways to test that, to see that, that we've been programmed to believe lies.